All right, I'm just going to share with you the simplest way to make beets. Um, a lot of people don't go through the grocery store and pick out beets because they think, oh, they take so long to cook, and, and um, maybe they just don't know how to cook them. So this is my telling you how to make, just your cook your beets. So when you, I have beets in my garden, and so when I pull the beets up out of the ground, it comes with a lot of greens. And I just take that and wash it and trim it down. And so I, I just may, mainly have the leaf. And then I put those in the fridge till I'm ready to use them. They'll stay, they'll stay for several days, but I just do cook them and they're delicious. I just use salt and pepper and a little butter. Uh, this is an example of the way my beet greens look when they're cooked. Okay, they have um, the stems in them, but they cook up to be really quite flavorful. And so what I do before I serve them is just cut through them and maybe make um, a little serving so that you can have, you know, just a, a piece like that on, on your plate. It's just a ton of vitamins. Um, so just when you get your beets, don't waste them. Even if you buy them in the store, those greens, look for good greens as well. So when you cook them, you don't cut too deeply. See, I've left on um, a little bit of the stalk because they, the beets, you want them to keep their full color. And a lot of the carotenoids, or um, I'm not that scientific, so whatever the color of the beets is, is, is really good for your health. I don't cut into the stem or the root. I just leave that on and put them in the water, cover them with water. I usually cook about four beets at a time so that I know I'll use them all. And then boil them for about, I have a pressure cooker, so my the way I boil them is bring it up to heat and just leave them in there and let them cook for about 30 to 40 minutes. The way that you know your beets are done is poke a fork into them if they're soft then they're done. And I don't let them get too soft because I don't want to cook out any more of the, the nutrients than I need to to make it. So make it good for me. So this is the way I store them in my fridge. I'm This is the last beet of about four different beets that I've used and cut up. And I know that you love getting your hands dirty with this, but it's what it takes. You just need to slide the skin off and this is a, a job that takes um, somebody that doesn't mind a few slippery, slimy things sticking to them. And then I just trim away any of the top where maybe some dirt or anything may have gotten in to the root. And anything off the bottom where there might be just a little bit of a hard stem. And then I usually cut them in about thirds or fourths to begin with and slice it into little bite-sized pieces. Now you can eat your beet this way or you can season it and make it into a fresh pickled beet. Beets are really quite sweet. Their glycemic index is high, but they're extremely good for your kidney and livers. They're very cleansing. So any way you get them in your diet is good, but I particularly like them this way. But I'm going to pause for just a minute and show you a way to pickle them. Okay, so I have the pure maple syrup for sweetener. And I'm going to pour about one tablespoon over my beets and add some pickling spice to it. This is Cormac pickling spice. And I'm just going to add about a uh, little under a teaspoon. This this has got has got cinnamon, allspice, mustard seed, coriander, bay, ginger, cloves, red pepper, black pepper, cardamom, and it, and mace. And it it really you you don't think that that is going to make them very spicy, but it really does. So you just sprinkle it right in and around and over them, and just let them steep in that, not steep, because that's cooking, just soak in that. 
and the the spices soften and they my oh the aroma just from this the syrup and the pickling spices go and and that's not very much sugar to go around but the, one of the reasons that I really like them is not just because it, it enhances their sweetness but because you don't have to cook them and pickle them for so long like you do when you make pickled beets so they're still you know there's quite a bit of good nutrients still in it but the flavor will be there and they're just good to put on the salad or a side of a meal and just add just that little bit of good flavor and texture to your food.